Hi guys, today we are going to do the question convert binary number into a linked list to integer. Given a binary, uh, give, given head which is a reference node to a singly linked list, the value of each node in the linked list is either 0 or 1. The linked list holds the binary representation of a number. We are, we just have to tell the decimal representation of the number. So the given uh, given linked list is 101. The answer would be 5. How? If we convert 101 in uh, which is in base 2 to base 10 then the answer would be 5. How would it be 5? Like we have 101. So uh, we start from the rightmost bit uh, 2 into 2 to power 0 into Uh, it would be 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2. So 1 into 2 to uh, 2 power 2 will give 4. Plus 0 into 2 key power 1 would give us 0. Plus 1 into 2 key power 2, 2 power 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 would give us 1. So this would give us answer 5. So what we are required to know is the length of the uh, link list that we are given. How would we find the length? So uh, because here we have to multiply with the highest power of uh, the linked list of the size of the linked list minus 1. So it can be basically written as 2 into length minus 1 since the length here is 3. Here the length is 3. So length minus 1 into digit whatever the digit is at that position into 2 key power length minus 2 in each subsequent step the length decreases by one digit so here length uh, minus 2 then digit is 1 into 2 key power length minus 3 so that is how we get the result so uh, basically, we'll have to calculate the total length of the linked list and then just we have to uh, multiply with 2, two into uh, 2 raised to that uh, power. Okay, let's do the code. So, we'll take a variable length is equal to 0 and we'll take a temporary node, list node star temp is equal to head while temp is not equal to null. Length plus equal to 1 then temp is equal to temp dot temp next uh, here we'll have the length of the link list then what we have to do is we'll have to calculate the answer which we are finally returning at the end so um uh, so like uh, uh, since we will will iterate again from the head so temp is equal to head uh, so basically we are again pointing the temp, uh, temp pointer to the head, head is this and then what we are doing is uh, while temp is not equal to null again what we would do is answer plus equal to the value at this node temp value, temp reference value into one left shift length minus one and each subsequent uh, step we move the temp to the next reference and also reduce the length uh, so the main calculation lies in this part where we are uh, just multiplying the digit at that node like when it was 1 we are multiplying 1 into 1 left shift length minus 1 so length initially was 3 so as we saw here that the first digit has to be multiplied with length minus 1 
so uh, length was 3 so length minus 1 would become 2 so 1 left shift 2 would give us 4 and uh, we add add that value to the answer then we shift the temp to the next node and we reduce the length by one unit so um, this would give us the answer in the answer variable let's run that code So the answer is correct. So let's uh, take it for some other cases as well. You should always try to dry run it for uh, or run it for the corner cases, whatever you think could be a corner case. And for some cases that would provide you very large answers. So in this case also we get a correct, uh, we get an accepted. So we should submit it. We'll see if it uh, fails for some corner case. No, it doesn't. So this is a good um, good question, good question uh, interview question where you could be asked variation of the similar question. And uh, hope you guys like the video. Give a thumbs up if you understood it. Goodbye.